Hello, welcome to our lesson on angles, part two. This is a little bit beyond the basics. Just a little bit more complicated um, ideas about angles and some more characteristics of angles. First off, we're going to talk about adding angles. When we're adding angles, this may seem really intuitively obvious, but the angle ABC, so we would write that as angle ABC plus the angle B, C, D. All right, you look at where we're, we're talking about here. Angle A, C, B. That's what I meant to say when I said A, B, C. Hold on. There we go. So angle A, C, B plus angle B, C, D. When we add those two together, we are going to get angle A, C, D. All right, that's the same number of degrees as angle A, C, D. And that makes sense. All right, we sometimes label angles by doing something like this, like a little arc. All right, so from here to there, plus that much more is going to give us the same as that full interior angle there, A, C, D. Now, because this is intuitively obvious, and we have a word for that. A postulate, something that is basically so obvious that it's just accepted as fact, um, and we don't have to prove that it's true, we call it a postulate. So there it is, the angle addition postulate. If the point S is in the interior of angle PQR, then angle PQS plus angle SQR is equal to PQR. That's exactly what we showed in the previous slide. So let's take this information that we can add two angles to get the larger outside angle, if you want to put it that way, and talk about a specific type of angle. This is a 90 degree angle. I've flipped them all around in these pictures, but these are all 90 degree angles. And the two angles that add up are called complementary. So for example, in this, this angle here plus this angle here will equal exactly 90 degrees. In this case, it's that angle there, plus this one will give us 90 degrees. This angle here and this tiny little sliver of an angle will add up to give us 90 degrees. These two angles that add up to give us 90 degrees are called complementary. They complement each other. They're just right together. Get it right. Like a right angle? <laughs> All right, let's move on. So how we're going to actually use these two angles is like this. If you're given one of them, one of the measurements of these angles, and we know that these two are 90 degree angles or complementary, right, then we would find the measure of angle ABD. We're looking for this angle right here, angle ABD. We know that the total is 90 degrees, so we can find that by saying 90 minus what we know, 33. Whoops, not 30, 33. 33 degrees, 90 degrees minus 33 degrees. And that will give us our remaining angle right there. All right, so you know that the full amount from all the way down here is 90 degrees. We know this little small sliver here is 33 degrees. So if we take 90 degrees, and we subtract 33, we'll find that the remaining amount, 57 degrees, is that angle A, B, D, 57 degrees. All right, let's do another one. We're given that angle D, B, C is 52 degrees, and we're asked to find angle A, B, D. We're going to do exactly the same thing. We can draw it in here if we want, that that is 90 degrees. We know that. that we're given that these are supplemental angles, although it's not written in there. And what we're trying to find is that angle right there. So we'll take 90 degrees, and we're going to subtract 52 degrees, and we're going to discover that 90 minus 52 is, I'm just going to write it in underneath, but I don't think there's enough room, 38 degrees, 38 degrees. All right, so that's going to be the measure of angle A, B, D. All right, again, complementary angles, they add up to 90 degrees. The next type of angle we're going to talk about is a supplementary angle. 
and oftentimes complementary and supplementary get mixed up. Um, but supplementary angles add up to exactly 180 degrees. Do you remember what 180 degrees looks like? Yeah, it's a straight line. 180 degrees is a straight line. So supplementary angles will add up to give you exactly 180 degrees or exactly a straight line. So this angle here plus this angle here gives us the full angle of 180 degrees. If those little squigglies help you, then wonderful. All right. So let's go ahead and use that information, just like we did with the complementary angles. But now we're working with supplementary angles. And we're going to go ahead and find the missing angle. So we know that PQS is 53 degrees. We're looking for the angle, the measure of the angle PQR. PQR. We know the total is 180 degrees. And if we subtract what we're given, 53 degrees, we will be given 180 minus 53, and we'll be told exactly the leftover obtuse angle here, 127 degrees. All right? It's very nice. Let's do another one here. We've got two angles. One of them is 90 degrees. What's our other angle add up to 180? Well, we know from here all the way over is 180 degrees. So we're going to take 180 degrees and we're going to subtract 90 degrees. And that will give us 90 degrees. It may seem silly to do that, but we did it anyway. All right, so here we have our angles. 90 and 90 is 180. Two angles that measure, when you add them together, gives you 180 degrees are called supplementary angles. There's one other thing about angles that I want to discuss kind of, not quickly, but Oops. before we end this mini lesson, and that is opposite and adjacent angles. Opposite and adjacent angles. Let's take a look at opposites. Opposite angles are angles that are opposite each other. Seems silly, but it's true. That's what it is. We give ourselves a wonderfully easy term to remember. Okay, So opposite angles are angles that are opposite each other. So if you have two lines crossing, for example, you'd be here and here, the two blue dots. Adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other or adjacent to each other. All right, there we go. So opposite, adjacent. Opposite, adjacent. Opposite, I think we get the idea. Now we're going to practice with adjacent lines, or adjacent angles, I'm sorry. And try and label an adjacent angle to the blue dot. Well, the blue dot is angle SPT, so our adjacent angles could be one of two places. We're either going to be here, and that's angle SPR, or RPS. It doesn't matter which order you say them, as long as the vertex is in the middle. Or this angle here, which is angle QP. T, right? Or you could say T, P, Q. It really doesn't matter. Either way, you know that it's the angle right here is adjacent to that angle, or this angle here is also adjacent to that angle. Okay? These angles are adjacent because they're right next to each other. Let's do one practice with opposite angle. There is only one angle that's opposite here, and that angle is right there, the RPS angle. Angle RPS is opposite angle QPT. So there's some a little bit of information on opposite and adjacent angles. Also, we talked about complementary, supplementary, and addition of angles, all inside of a short little video. Not bad. Now you are an angle pro, just like this lady here, only hopefully not quite as mean. All right. I hope this lesson has been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.